discovered on Who Do You Think You Are uh, that he was related, you won't believe this, Art, to a lion tamer. Brilliant, isn't it? Well, it turns out things didn't stop there and he still had more to discover. For five days every year, Nottingham is transformed into a screaming party town. <laughs> Nottingham Goose Fair is one of the most famous fairs in Europe. Approved by Royal Charter in 1284, it's been returning here for over 700 years. Today, it's packed with stomach-churning attractions. I'm taking a spin with Vanessa Toolman from the National Fairground Archive. So, Vanessa, tell me, why do they call it the Goose Fair? Well, it wasn't a fairground like it is now. It was a trading fair. But what Nottingham Fair was famous for was geese. 20,000 geese would walk up from the Lincolnshire Fens. They'd walk all the yeah, way, they'd yeah? They'd walk all the way, and they put tar on their feet. Surely they lost a lot of weight on the way, <laughs> didn't they? No, they fattened them up, and then when they got there, it was for the feast of Michaelmas. So, like, you have turkey for Christmas, yeah. you had geese for Michaelmas. Yeah. And the story was that he who eats geese on Michaelmas Day shan't money lack or debts to pay. Really? And not many geese around today, so sign of the times, I guess. Yes. The goose fair's changed a bit since its poultry beginnings. By the 19th century, it was a mecca for showmen, like my ancestors, the Day family, who ran travelling menageries. Oh, yeah, the Days definitely were at the goose fair, one of the most famous show farmers in the country. I've got photographs and accounts of them coming to the fair. Right. That's your great-great-grandfather. That's Jimmy. Yeah, wild beast. Wild beast. But then the big sensation of the goose fair was your great-great uncle, great, great, great uncle, Martini Bartlett, with his long hair and flowing locks and going into the lion's cage. So that's, the, your family came every year, and I've got this description here. He carried a big club and a dag on his belt. He actually kisses the lion. He finishes up uh, putting his face inside the jaws of the lion. It was a big show. Really? Really big show. It's extraordinary, because here I am in a place where ancestors of mine would come and do their thing every year. Extraordinary, really. Not ancestors, family. Family? Yep. It turns out the days still come to the goose fair. Hello. Hello, Jill. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, lovely to see you. And, and you. I've brought someone to meet you. Hello. Hi, Relation. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I, nice I understand we're related. Yes, we yeah. are, apparently. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. my name's Jill Price, but I was Jill Day. You were, were you? Yes, I was. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm Larry Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> and never was anything right. else. <laughs> so, Jill, tell me, how exactly is it that we're related? Uh, well, my great-grandfather was James Day, uh, Wild Beast Day. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, both our great-grandfathers were brothers. So how long have you been coming to the Goose Fair? I would think it's almost 40 years now. And I'm very pleased to say that Jill's keeping a Goose Fair tradition alive with her vintage ride. So, Jill, the Helter Skelter, this was the big thrill ride when I was a kid. How long has this one been in the family? Well, this one's been in the family since it was made in the early 60s. And is it still yeah. popular? Well, it's becoming more popular. Is it? Uh, the grandparents now want to take their grandchildren on because yeah. it's what they used to ride on when they were young. Uh, and I have very fond it. memories of the Helter Skelter. Do you still have a little go now and again, do now you? Now and again. I've got grandchildren myself. Yeah, you take them up there, do yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And I go on it every year, don't I, Jill? Every year Vanessa goes on. I yeah, love I'll it. I'll vouch for that, because I think you owe me some money. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm sure King Edward I wouldn't recognise the goose fair he approved 728 years ago. Press this, Press it, yeah? Yeah, and it down. And they come out like That's that. Whee, look at that. But I'm very pleased to say that it's still going strong. Coming here today has been a really wonderful experience. I've had a chance to see what life was like for many of my ancestors. And I'm sure, judging by the way it is here, they had an absolute blast. So, anybody want to buy a lovely donut? Hey, here you go, girls. Hot, straight from the fat. <laughs>
And Larry's here now with no donuts, Larry. No donuts, no donuts. Ah. Little cousins there, show me how to buy donuts. But you did bring candy floss. Do you want a little bit, Art? There you go. Look, help yourself. Now, what we said you were saying about oh. Scarborough Fair. I know. It's incredible, I've been isn't to Scarborough. It? Lovely town. Yeah, you have been to that fair. But have you ever been to, um, you know, a fairground in Britain before? Or is this something new for you? This is new for me right now. <laughs> okay. Larry, we'll be talk gentle, us Larry. All the elements of the fair, right? All the Imagine elements the of the fair. Well, really, with the waltz, with I think the waltz probably came from America, but it was made for a guy called Thurston in the 20s and 30s, and it's oh, yeah. one of those ones you sit in it, you sit in, you hold on tight, it spins like that, whilst the whole thing spins round and round and round. I don't know what you call them, but for some reason they called it the waltzer, which was supposed to relate somehow or other to the dance, and Just then eventually it yeah, became yeah, yeah. the disco waltzer, yep. then it became the rave waltzer, the rock and roll waltzer on the way. Then, of course, the coconut shy. Yes, of course. Was, of course. Have you, <laughs> else, else. But have you any idea why they call it a coconut shy? No not, idea. No, not a clue, Larry. Because Yorkshire dialect to yeah. throw is to shy it, right? Oh, be careful. Oh! Oh! oh have a go. go on, have there a little go. go. Go on. Here we go. As you win a prize. Come on. Yay! Yay! Yeah, it's very good. Evidently, they used to, those used to be wooden heads, <laughs> carved heads of politicians oh, in the 1800s. Right? That's what they That's did. great. Right. Now, here we go, the high striker, right? This is, this is designed to sort of let young men show off their virility. Oh, hang on, hang on. Well, hang on. Now, Arthur, you, you won the cup, so you get to take that Come on. You bring the, the bell. Yeah. I'll miss it after Bring the bell, show your girlfriend. Oh, oh, come, oh, on, come, come on, come on. Flexors, <laughs> Come on, come on. <laughs> Show him how it's done. There you go. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Oh, it's hard to get again. it right in. It's tough. Go oh! <laughs> I tell you what. Don't worry. About it. I tell you what. Oh, you can smash the coconut with it. There you go. You can give that a crack. Go on. Go on. Smack it. Oh! Thank you so much, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, our oh, bird man, Michael.